Hi guys, welcome to the video. My name's Hugh and I'm from Home Network Solutions Berkshire. And in this video, we're gonna be setting up a Unify a Dream Router. And we're gonna be setting this up, but we're also gonna be taking advantage of some of the special features of this new Unify Router to connect not one, but two Unify Lite 6 or 6 Lite access points. Um, now the reason why we're able to do this is because for the first time, uh, for the first time, Unify have released a little router like this, a bit like the Dream Machine, um, that has inbuilt PoE ports. So we've seen this before in the uh, Unify Dream Machine Pro SE, um, which has PoE ports, but that's kind of an enterprise model for a small sort of domestic or small business model like this uh, Unify Dream Router. Um, to have PoE ports in it is fantastic because it just means that essentially you've got a small network solution built in uh, with just a couple with just one device so you've got this and then you just add a couple more devices and then you've got a small network set up so um, this literally just means that you can take a, an ethernet port out of one of these here sorry ethernet cable out of one of these here and power up an access point off that which is which is brilliant it's fantastic um, and it's perfect for like I said a small uh, small uh, home setup so the setup of this router is very simple. Um, the first consideration though, if you're setting this router up, is that you have to know that this is just a router. It's not, uh, it's not got a modem. So if your provider doesn't give you a modem as part of your internet package, or you don't have a router that can be put into a uh, modem mode, then you need to buy a modem. Um, so for example, if you've got a VDSL connection, um, then you might want to use something like this Stratec uh, Vigor 167 um, or something similar. And that'll just allow you to get the modem part into uh, for this router to allow it to connect to the internet. If you are using something like Starlink, you have to put it into bridge mode. We have got a video on how to set this up with Starlink. So uh, just click on the card and you'll be able to see exactly um, how to do that. So first thing we're going to do is get a laptop and get this set up. So uh, let's get on with it. Okay guys, so now we come to the setup. So uh, I'm using a laptop here. I've got a hardwired connection straight into uh, port one of the Dream Router. Um, and uh, I've just opened a browser window here. So you probably find that once you plug into the Dream Router that you it will automatically take you to the uh, to the welcome page. But I'm, uh, I'm just gonna type it in manually. And you do that, get to that page by typing the IP address 192.168 dot zero dot one in the browser bar at the top of the page and just press enter and that'll take you in to the uh, opening page and the beginning setup of the UDR so we are right so a bit about privacy there and then we're just going to go to set up the uh, dream router now it's going to look for an internet connection that should find an internet connection we've got this plugged into a virgin media router um, I may have to reboot the router. No, I didn't have to. Great. Okay. So, um, like I said, I've got this plugged in to a Virgin Media uh, router. I've got that router in modem mode. Um, if you do, if you do have a Virgin router and you want to know how to get into modem mode, um, just click on the card up in the top um, window there, and uh, and you can see our video on how to do that. Okay. So we've got our internet connected. This is the most important part. If you don't use, um, if you're not using a DHCP um, type connection, then you have to go into the advanced settings on the internet and input some information there. It will be dependent on your internet provider. If you're not sure what you need, then phone your internet provider and ask them for the details uh, to connect a third party router and they should be able to give you that. Okay, incidentally also, if you are using Starlink, uh, with the Dream Router, then you can watch our video on how to uh, connect the Dream Router with Starlink card up there in the window. Okay, right, so now we'll press next. Right, so you have to go through the setup, you have to give it a name. I'm just going to say, yep, agree to these terms, and I'm going to leave that as the default name at the moment. It's just UDR, but you can call it whatever you want. Um, it just helps you remember it. If you're managing multiple sites, so you've got multiple uh, routers, etc., like uh, different locations, then you can just put in, you know, something that's going to help you remember it. Right, and then just select this part. Not sure entirely why you need to do that. And then you can sign in. So it says sign into UI.com account. That's basically just a unified uh, Ubiquiti account. Um, it covers all of the Ubiquiti products. Um, I would definitely recommend uh, setting up an account if you don't have one. 
um, because it allows you to uh, to have remote access through the apps, etc. And it means that you can pretty much sign in from anywhere into the router and, and, and see what's going on. So definitely very useful. Um, if you do have an account, literally just put your details in. If you don't have an account, then obviously just create an account here. So I'm just going to put my details in. Okay, so sorry that took a little while longer uh, just to get through the login there just because I've got two step verification set up on that so I need to use the app to get in on that. You can set that up through your Ubiquiti account. Um, if you don't want to use your Ubiquiti account at all, you don't have to, you can just press skip on that and you can just give a local password to the router. Um, the sort of disadvantages of that is that you can't then do anything remotely, it's all going to be local access only. Um, but you can come back and set up that uh, account later if you want to, if you just want to get through it. Okay, so now it's going to ask for an update schedule. Um, you can change this from daily if you want. Uh, normally, it's just better just to leave it like this. Um, sometimes, sometimes Ubiquiti releases an update that plays havoc. Um, but generally speaking, things seem to run pretty smoothly. Um, if you're really worried about that, then you can maybe change this so you're not going to get those updates daily. Uh, right, so go to next. Okay, so now this is just going to give you a Wi-Fi detail, so we'll just call that Wi-Fi, uh, and we'll just give it passwords, um, just something nice and simple, just to get us going. Um, so that's the, yeah, that's going to be the same Wi-Fi password and username for all of your network. So make sure that you um, put in something that you want to use there. You can always change this at a later date. Right, so this is just asking you basically whether or not you want to send your diagnosis. Why not help them out? Send that over. And then basically it's just going to start testing your internet and see how quick it is, see what um, what speeds we're working with. Uh, and that kind of sets the base. So you can see here we've got quite a quick connection. Should actually be quicker than that. It's a little bit slow. Okay, so once it's done its speed test, disappointing speed test from us, so we're going to have to look at that. Um, but once it's done its speed test, that kind of sets the... Uh, the base and obviously you can just adjust that if you want to so mine actually should be 350 mine should be 350 so I'm not sure why it's so late there and this should be 30 I think so that's fine so if we say next and then it basically gives you a little review it allows you just to look at everything that you put in um, and just and just make any changes that you need to at this stage but that should all be right because we've just gone through these things and then you just press finish and that is the first bit done. So this takes a couple of minutes just for the console to set up. If you look at the blue light on top of the console, or if you look at the light on top of the console, you'll notice that it's gone from kind of white to uh, pulsing blue, and that's because it's um, going through all its setup process. And then once it's set up, it will be that solid blue ring, that sort of reassuring ring. Right, so all the firmware has finally been applied um, and that took around 10 well about 12 minutes actually uh, for it to update itself reboot and then come back online now you will notice that eagle-eyed amongst you that the ip address of the router has actually changed it's now 19.2.168.1.1 so we're coming on that browser and uh, in the browser on that and then you're going to come to a privacy message here that is standard and we're just going to go proceed on that one um, and then basically just log in with your with your unified account or the local um, settings that you applied to it Okay, so now we come into the login page, into the, into the sort of home page, and you'll see straight away because we've got those Light Sixes plugged into the uh, PoE ports on the uh, on the router that we've got uh, devices ready to add straight away. So they've just popped up here, so we can literally just jump on those and just press Add before before we do anything else. So let's just do that. Add that. And then that will take you into network and it will start to adopt those devices. So we've got two devices adopting nice and quickly without us really having to do much at all. So it's taken us, it's opened up the network application and we're into that and we can see the Dream Router and we can also see these two light sixes. 
Uh, that'll take a few minutes. They're going to go through their process as well. They're going to update and they're going to, sorry, adapt, adopt and then they're going to update. So in the meantime, we can start to look at some of the other uh, things that we want to uh, focus on here. So we've already set up the Wi-Fi. Um, so the Wi-Fi is set up as part of the process. We don't have to do too much on there. Um, we can just start to look through some of these features here. So we've got the dashboard. It's just your kind of welcoming page. It's where it's going to show you all the information about what's been going on in your uh in your network and it's also going to be giving you a bit of information like down here you can see that my internet is coming from Virgin Media uh, it gives you a bit about the uptime it gives you about a bit about your pings etc and also just your whole network interface is is here this is where you come into um, and it gives you lots and lots of information so this will be uh, you know your, your sort of first place to come into when, when you start really using this system um, topology just basically gives you an idea of what, what your setup is here so obviously we've got the uh, UDR running at the head of our network and then we've got the two light sixes which are connected to the UDR and I believe that once they uh, are online that there should be a line between those and, and the UDR but we'll find out shortly. So then we can go back to unified devices and we can see these are still updating. If you add any more um, unified devices to network this is where they're going to pop up. If they don't automatically come up in that window on the right hand side to say add devices then you can come in here and you can manually, uh, you can manually adopt them. And this gives you a bit of information about them, what their IP address is, you know, what model they are. And it will also tell you any kind of issues like if it's uh, if it's like a wireless connection or if it's only getting 100 megs, etc. Then you'll get the information from here. Right, so client devices just tells you what devices are connected to your network um, and uh, their IP addresses and the, the experience that they're having in terms of their network connectivity. Statistics just gives you uh, a bit of information about uh, your usage and you can get all sorts of stuff from here. You can play around with this once you've got, obviously nothing's been going on in this network at the moment, so we haven't got any information. But as you get uh, used to this, you can see more and more things happening on this on the network. Uh, Wi-Fi Insights basically just gives you some information about how things have been performing. Again, this will fill with information once the Wi-Fi is actually being used. Um, and what have we got down here? System logs. So they're basically just telling you about um, about who, what, what's been going on in your network. So whether you've got some threats, for example, what the users have been doing, all these kind of things. And then down here are just notifications. So we've got some notifications already because uh, we have done things. So we've adopted our Light Sixes. Um, we've updated, and it tells you which version of the UDR software you've got there. Etc. Uh, Etc. Et and then when you want to make changes to the uh, to this system, then you go down to the settings cog here, and then that'll take you through the various settings. So we've already set our Wi-Fi up, but you can do quite a lot with that. So say for example, on our Wi-Fi here, one of the things I really want to focus on, or one of the things you might want to focus on, for example, if we just click on this one. So we click on the Wi-Fi we set up. So it's already happened as standard. We know we've got a mixed channel. So it's got 2.4 and 5 gigahertz. Um, but the other thing we can do is we can start to look at some of the other features. So you might want to use something like band steering. This basically makes it go on to 5 gigahertz. Um, it's, it's one of those uh, features which can cause problems. We tend to avoid that. Um, you can also do add a profile to the bandwidth on the Wi-Fi. Um, we'll do a video on that because that's actually quite interesting. But basically, that means that you can give um, certain uh, limits on the speed um, to to a specific Wi-Fi network. So, for example, if you want, don't want your your kids or sometimes uh, certain areas of a business, for example, to be using too much bandwidth, then you can restrict it on there. Um, but one of the things that I'm really interested in at the moment is the security type because we are going into a new era where we've got WPA3 is the highest form of security, but some devices can't handle WPA3. Um, so what we do normally is, well, sorry, it's WPA3 here, that's Enterprise, WPA3 over here. So what we do normally is we do a mix. So we're gonna do a mix of WPA2 and WPA3. Um, not all devices will be capable of this. Some of the older devices may, may not be able to do this, but the new devices, these Wi-Fi 6 will be able to. And then once you've made that change, I would recommend making that change and just press that apply change there. Okay, so let's go back and look at our devices. And we're still getting ready. So we've applied all those updates. Oh, sorry. Tell a lie. That's just because I've made a change to the Wi-Fi. So all devices online. So there you are, guys. That is your uh, network set up. So you've got um, your Unify Dream, Dream Router there, and you've got your Unify Light 6 access points running straight from that uh, Unify Dream Machine. And your network is set up. 
we're not going to do any more kind of tweaking of this. There's plenty of configuration you can do on, on the Unify, but at the moment, this is just a very simple setup. And it, as you saw, it just took a few minutes um, to, to get us up and running. Okay, guys, so that was that. We set up the Dream Router, we put the access points in. You saw how simple it is. It's a very quick setup. If you've got any questions, please do put them in the comments below. If you want us to show you anything else, then let us know. Um, and uh, please do subscribe to the channel, please like the video, etc. etc. Thanks very much, mate.